Recently, I've received an inquiry for the best mortgage insurance in the market. And today, I'll be sharing the comparison for nine insurers in the market. Hi guys, this is Robert from SG Finance Matters. What is best insurance? Some say the most expensive is the best. Some say the cheapest is the best. But what says you? Because everyone determines best differently. Just in case if you can't view this full video, DM me for the full video. Remember, stay tuned stay relevant and in today's video i'll be sharing the selection process of mortgage insurance and if you are still thinking need to buy or not who to buy from and how much to buy then this video is for you and just in case if you accidentally scroll off this video do remember to like and mark it to your playlist and so we'll be starting the topic proper and for today we'll be covering three points number one how much is enough number two areas to consider number three who or where to buy from and this is the part i'll be sharing all the comparison so stay to the end for the comparison so what is mortgage insurance in simplicity in the event the mortgage owners passes on the mortgage loan will be taken care of by the insurance payout so if you do not have this class of insurance in the event one of the owner passes on then the surviving owners will still have to continue to pay for the mortgage similar to your fire insurance some people buy some people don't because they don't think that it will happen to them let's start with the right amount of coverage for example your loan size is 1 million how much should i cover of course 1 million what else you are thinking of but in the event you have budget constraint you should at least cover 50 percent each some people will ask hey my spouse is a homemaker do i also need to cover him or her of course you need to but we can do some adjustment we can adjust accordingly next up areas to cover so what do we wish to cover in the event something happens on death on total permanent disability or critical illness so the question here is out of these three death tbd or critical illness on which event do you want to ensure you receive compensation on death critical illness or total permanent disability and next should i cover for my outstanding mortgage loan you should if you do not wish your loved ones to be at risk of for selling the house and then next who to buy from of course your trusted advisor lah. but in case you are comparing go for the cheapest one in the event if you already have your personal insurance should you still have a mortgage insurance of course you need to because your personal insurance already has its purpose at the point of taking it up it can be for covering for your critical illness it can be for covering for your personal accident it already has its purpose so mortgage insurance is just purely for mortgage and when we are talking about mortgage insurance most people will overlook the critical illness rider because in most instances people are only concerned about death and tpd when coming to mortgage insurance not forgetting the probability of singaporean getting critical illness is one out of three and the worst part is after diagnosis after being diagnosed with critical illness the person not only have to continue to service their mortgage but also have to continue to service the insurance premiums so at least consider a waiver of premium rider in the event of critical illness which means in the event of critical illness your premiums will be fully taken care of and over here i'll be sharing the comparison from nine different insurers in the market so over here you can see that from insurer a including the advanced critical illness rider the annual premium is 1312 and b is 1284 but this covers early critical illness and c also covers early critical illness 1571 which means in the event on early critical illness the premiums will be waived and you will still continue to enjoy the coverage and you can see here d is 1242 e is 1230 f is 1417 g is 1538 and h 1739 and i 1340 respectively so even if you average this out the most expensive insurer in the market is about four dollars and 76 cents a day is this three to four dollars a day really expensive in exchange for a peace of mind and this is up to you to decide people will ask what is the difference between advanced critical illness and early critical illness and over here you can see this is based on life insurance association definition which all the insurance follows this and for the early critical illness you can refer to the respective insurance contract because for early critical illness every insurance has different variation and so if you need assistance on your mortgage insurance feel free to dm me else leave your comments below and share your thoughts with us as far as we are concerned mortgage insurance is relatively affordable so don't risk what you can't afford to lose for what you can afford if you need assistance pm me for a 30 minutes complimentary session to sum up today's video we have spoken about number one functions of mortgage insurance number two suitable sum assured and number three 
market comparison. With that, that's it for today's video. Follow my channel and I'll share more financial tips with you. My name is Welver, signing off.